the big one back in Belfast. The league's all about consistency. The cup tends to produce moments of magic and creates heroes. Who will deal with the pressure of the big day? Miller in the middle. Off Weir and in at the near post. It's an own goal by Robbie Weir. Tuffy couldn't keep it out. And Balamini United take the lead seconds after that Miller opportunity. My word, what a mistake that is. That's just a lack of concentration. That ball has no pace on it, no real pace on it. It's an easy one, almost too easy. And that's what happens to Robbie Weir in that situation. He literally takes his eye off the ball. And what happens is it's a missed kick then. It's just too easy, his foot is extended, hasn't got his body behind it. There's no way that that's, not, that's going anywhere. Just a flick into the goals. Keeper, no chance whatsoever. And what a start for Bellamina. Well, they soaked up that early pressure. Lecky hit the post. But it's Balamini United who strike first in the decider. Graham. Heatley. Well, he's capable of the spectacular Paul Heatley. And you know, Thomas, for Crusaders, you're talking about him being capable, but, but so too is Ben Kennedy. And at the moment, Crusaders haven't managed to get him on the ball often enough in the advanced positions. And so they need to settle, settle down and try to get into the game a little bit more through their good players in midfield. Two in the wall. Kennedy and Clark standing over it. It looks like it is going to be Kennedy. Will it be a shot? Will it be a cross? Or will it be whipped in towards the back post? He's going there, post instead. Good stuff from the keeper. I was surprised the keeper gave up as much of the goal there because that, that was the only, I'm going to sound silly, but that was the only thing looked like it was on. But he gets it over the wall, actually, to be fair to the goalkeeper, who makes a decent save, takes no chances, doesn't try to catch it, punches it away for a corner. Lecky flicks it on to Heatley. This time he is onside. Paul Heatley alongside Redmond. Defender did just enough. Well, the defender recovers because his starting position, he's the one man that plays Paul Heatley onside. He's not up. He's not up level with his other defenders. And Paul Heatley gets on, gets a march on him. And there's space, but it's a brilliant recovery. It's a superb recovery, actually, and to, to block the shot. <laughs> he got out of jail there somewhat. It is going to be McGrory. Goes for a shot that wasn't far away. Had Toffee scurrying across his line. Trying to catch him out at the near post. Here's McCullough, sky blue shirt streaming forward. What a goal that would have been from Ryan Wade. Josh Kelly was just behind him as well, arguably in a better position. I spoke to Jackie Fullerton this morning, a man who's commentated plenty of cup finals, played for both of these clubs, of course, during his playing career. I just felt the Crusaders were the team that had the form, and it was Cadell who couldn't nip in with that far post run skids off the head of Larmer falls nicely for Wade here is McElroy's first involvement goes down penalty oh he hasn't actually he's played on I think the ball in the United fans thought it was a penalty because he, he pointed towards the spot but what he was actually doing Tony Clark was pointing to say that it was a clean challenge from the Crusaders player interesting to have another look at that one here is McElroy, just outside the box, and... What do you think, Roy? <laughs> well, the referee pointed, and I thought, like you, he was pointing to the spot. And you know what? He might well have had to point to the spot, because it, like, it looks to me like there's some form of contact. Four in the middle. It's McMurray. Attempted the spectacular. Couldn't generate any power at all, though, Johnny McMurray. Kennedy. For Scythe. Looks for Owens, gets his head on. Heatley off the woodwork, how did it stay out? It was actually Declan Cadell who got in the way of Heatley's effort. It wouldn't have counted anyway. The flag was raised by the assistant on the far side. There's a Balamina player who's down just outside the penalty area. Another big chance and it was two of the veterans linking up the combination of Owens to Heatley, who I think looked to be onside from that last shot. 
well, Hadley was onside. It's whether or not the flag's up for Declan Cadell being offside. But again, put the ball in, ask a question, get the second ball, and Declan Cadell stops it. Burns had a goal by Robinson. Williamson quickly down and he held on to it. Hatley wasting no time. Everybody's up. Tuffy, it's in. Crusaders are level. It's Robinson who's celebrating the halftime substitute. It was a goalkeeper, Tuffy, who almost scored himself. He almost did an Allison. Just when Ballymena United thought they'd won it, up top Josh Robinson. It's never over until the final whistle. An injury time equaliser for Stephen Baxter and Crusaders. Heartbreak for David Jeffrey and Ballymena United. Johnny Tuffy does ever so well. It wasn't going in. Robinson made sure. Back in again by Doy. Off the wood, walking over the top. It's Wilson again. He's a player who doesn't score that many goals, but he's been involved in two or three opportunities in quick succession. Aidan Wilson just on the pitch. And so close to putting Crusaders ahead for the first time in this game. Lifted in by Cadell. McMurray! It's a late, late show from Johnny McMurray. They grabbed an equaliser. In additional time, of normal time, and right at the death, Johnny McMurray has won it. He raced across to celebrate with our pundits. You have got the feel for Ballymena United. But Crusaders have won it. McMurray the hero. We had played the two minutes of additional time at the end of extra time. And with the final kick of the ball, Johnny McMurray has become a Crusaders hero. Well, that's a brilliant strike. He possesses that, obviously. It's a brilliant finish. You know, he gets over the ball. It's a volley, right foot takes a great body shape and it's an unstoppable finish but you're right Thomas you feel for Palomina I mean lightning does strike twice because it struck first in the end of normal time and it has struck here at the end of extra time it's a brilliant finish Crusaders just keep the ball alive there's ping ponging about the box Jordan Owens it comes off McCulloch's knee it falls on a right beside oh my word I can't describe it because it's such a finish and what elation on the Crusaders bench joy for Stephen Baxter and his players but you have got to feel for Ballymena United 1967 1968 2009 2019 and now 2022 Crusaders are the Irish Cup winners the celebrations of well and truly started right. Well, look, we've got to say well done, Crusaders. We've already commiserated with Ballymena United, but, you know, there's always a winner and there's always a loser. And they hung in. You've got to admire the tenacity of Crusaders. You've got to admire their stickability. And they put the ball into the box. They probed at the end. They just prompted and hoped that something would fall. They hoped beyond hope. The goalkeeper comes up in normal time. Not natural, not normal. But in the dying embers of a game when you're desperate to get something, he gets his head on it. And the defender who's come on, who's been in the wars, Josh Robinson, he then gets on the end of it, equalises, goes the extra time. And then the wonder strike. I would rather talk about the great strike it was, the brilliant finish, the technique, and the quality finish from Johnny McMurray. And I thought at the end of that, you know, that was a goal fitting of any game. And today it went to Crusaders. So well done to them.